What's going on everyone? I'm just making this video real quick just to show off this tool called Active Directory Explorer. Essentially, uh, it's an Active Directory viewer and editor and you can also uh, take snapshots of an environment and be able to view the stuff offline. So it's pretty dope. Um, I'm just going to show you that real quick. Alright, so after you have it downloaded and everything, uh, we just want to open it up and then run it. And now here we want to connect to the domain. Um, so either you can put in the IP address of the domain controller uh, or you can put in the, uh, the DNS name for it. So I have ecorp local and then I'll use the user T relic and then the password summer 2020 and here we're connected to Active Directory like you can see the computers you can see the users here are all the computers that are on the on the domain um, you can see all the users the user information the details the descriptions and all that good stuff and um, here's the good part. Here's, the, here's the, the good part. Here's the pretty neat part. Um, you're able to go up in here in file and then click uh, create snapshot. And what this will essentially do is create a snapshot of everything that's inside of here so that you can just open it up offline. You can take a look at the users, the groups. You can take a look at all the, you know, the computers and everything else that's inside of this domain environment while you're offline. So I thought that was pretty neat. So I'll just name this like test or something oh optional description yeah sure okay so we create that and now we have the file right here so now if we were to remove this and now we're no longer connected and then we just go up into here we go to connect and then this time we just enter the path of the snapshot so we go to here click that ad environment dot dat okay and here everything is. I didn't put in credentials again to, to connect to it. Um, the domain, everything's already here. I can go offline, I can dis disconnect from the internet and everything else, and still be able to see everything that was on the domain while I had access to it. So that's pretty neat. There was one other thing that I forgot to mention, and that is that this computer here, this virtual machine was not signed in to the uh, Active Directory network like this is just a standard uh, user that's connected to the the same network but it's not actually signed in to the domain and this is also just a neat little tip from your snapshots and stuff like that right usually for like user accounts you can look inside the descriptions and sometimes you might find like a saved password that's inside of there right uh, so let's go to here you click the uh, little magnifying glass you go to the attribute and then just type in description description uh, contains and then put in value like pass click add and then we search and then it'll search this like all the description stuff that contains the phrase pass and so in here we can see that it has for the user Angela Moss and the password ice cream 10 and then we see for the user mr. robot evil corp one and what's also is pretty neat with this as well is that if you were to sign in using a domain admin's credentials uh, you can actually edit everything that's in here just as you would if you were to connect to the domain controller from like actually logging into it right but remember this machine here is not connected to the domain like it's not signed in to the domain so this is just a software that you can download and you can connect to the domain with which is uh, pretty neat so let's let's show that right now actually so let's remove this okay and let's re-sign in let's connect let's connect to ecorp.local actually I'll show you using a domain user first and then I'll show you using a domain admin just so you can see that you can't do it just using a domain ad um, domain user but you can't do it using a domain user can't speak today t relic summer 2020 okay here we go let's go and change like let's say we go to change like a user's description how about we just go to the user angela moss we see the description here <laughs> password ice cream 10 and then we, we go to modify and then we press modify ice cream 10 10,000, right and we're like oh okay that went through and it says access is denied so it's like ah, okay so 
this user doesn't really have the privileges to do that, right? So now let's change to a domain admin. It's ecorp.local. Let's do E. Olderson. And now let's try and do the exact same thing. Users, Angela Moss, Ice Cream 10. Let's modify that. Modify that. 10,000. Okay. And now it's modified here. And it will also show up modified here. Go to refresh this. Here we go. So yeah, it's pretty neat. Just thought I would share this. I don't know, maybe someone else will have some use of this. Maybe you're on an assessment and you just want to, you know, do a quick snapshot of something. Or you wish you could just grab and save everything. But um, yeah, that's about it for this video. See you next time.